This is question six. It says given that log to the base three of x is equal to a, find in terms of a, in part a, log to the base three of nine x for two marks, and in part b, log to the base three of x to the fifth over 81 for three marks. What I'm going to do is write out three different log laws. We have log a plus log b is equal to log ab. So if we have a sum, it becomes a product. If we have a difference, so log a minus log b, this becomes a quotient. So we have log of a divided by b. If we have log a to the power of k, using the power law, we can bring the power down and write this as k log a. So let's go ahead and use these in part a and part b. So with part a, I'm gonna split this up. Log to the base three of nine plus log to the base three of x. Log to the base three of nine is simply the power three is raised by to give nine, which is two. And we know that log to the base three of x is equal to a. So we have two plus a. In part b, we have now log to the base three of x to the power of five minus log to the base three of 81. I'm going to use the power law and bring the 5 down to write this as 5 log to the base 3 of x minus log to the base 3 of 81. This is simply the power 3 is raised by to get 81, which is 4. We know log to the base 3 of x is equal to a, so we can write this as 5a minus 4. So we've given now both of those values in their simplest form. In part C, it says solve for x log to the base 3 of 9x plus log to the base 3 of x to the fifth over 81 is equal to 3, giving your answer to four significant figures. The question carries four marks. We've got a couple of different choices here. I can use this information. So what we could write is 2 plus a plus 5a minus 4 is equal to 3. So we have now here that 6a will be equal to 7 minus 2, which is going to give us 5, which gives us now that a will be equal to 5, 6. Now, at this stage, if we state now that log to the base 3 of x is equal to a, we can say now that 3, log to the base 3 of x is equal to 5, 6s. Rewriting now the exponential equivalent, we can say that x is going to be equal to 3 to the power of 5 sixes, and we can go ahead and evaluate this. So in a calculator, we've got now 3 to the power of 5 over 6. So let's just plug that in. 3, that's what we want, to the power of 5 sixes, and that's going to give us now 2.498. We need to give this correct as uh, four significant figures, so it's going to be 2.498, and that's given now to 4SF. That's one way that it could be done. An alternative way is to ignore the first part of the question and simply use log laws to solve. So if I went this way, what I could do is add now the logs. So I'd have log to the base 3 now of 9x multiplied by x to the fifth over 81, and that would be equal to three. So just tidying this up, we could say log to the base three of x to the power of six divided by nine was equal to three. Rewriting the exponential equivalent, we could say x to the six divided by nine is equal to three to the power of three. 3 to the power of 3 is 27, so we could say x to the 6 is equal to 9 times 27, which is 2, 4, 3. With this one, we need to be careful. We need to take the 6 root of both sides. That's going to give us plus or minus. So 2, 4, 3 to the power of 1, 6. If we look at this, 2, 4, 3 to the power of 1, 6 will give us exactly the same value. We do need to state, though, that we're going to take the positive root, as the positive root is the only valid solution. So we can say x is equal to positive 2.498. Again, that's correct to four significant figures. We can't have a negative value, as we can't take the log of a negative number. So I suggest this way is a lot more straightforward, but this was also an option.